Hey guys, Trader Bryce with Small Cap Recap, but before we get into the recap, of course we're going to do a card trick because why not? So a guy comes up to me the other day and he says to me, I've got three cards, let's play a game. And I said, okay, what's the game? And he goes, well, I've got this card. I've got this card right here, okay. I've got this card. So I've got two of this card. And then he says, I also have one of that card. He said, what I want you to do is keep an eye on that card. So as he says that, he picks it up and he says, okay, just keep your eye on that card. And I say, okay, well, that card is clearly on the bottom. He says, no, that's this card. I said, okay, well, that card must be on the top. So he pulls off that top card and he said, no, that's also this card. And so then I was like, well, that means that card must be in the middle. And he says, no, that's also this card. And so I was like, okay, well, that's not fair. You're using three of this card. And he goes, no, I got that card. And so I'm like, okay, well, that means the other two cards on the top must clearly be that card. And he goes, no, 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 that's also that card. And I was like, well, so you're using two of that card and only one of this card. And he pulls out the middle card and he said, no, that's also that card. And I was like, well, that's not fair. Now you're using three of that card after you were just using three of this card. And he goes, no, I still got this card. And in fact, I still got this card here. And I still got this card here. And I said, well, now you had three of this card, three of that card, now three of this card again. And he goes, no, 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 no. Let me teach you a lesson. You know, sometimes in life, you have a little bit of this. You get a little bit of that. But not much of the other. I got him. I'm really awesome and really cool. All right. Let's see. How do I get this thing set up here? Very nice. Welcome back to Small Cap Recap. I was clearly the dorkiest kid in all of ever. Um, but thank you for watching. I also have my Rubik's Cube right here. You know, I can speed. Anyhow, I'm feeling really good today if you can't tell. Woo. Feeling real good. I'm going to put my hood on. Um, yeah, feeling great, even though I really didn't trade much and I didn't trade well, but we'll get into that. There were some amazing movers that I just was, I don't know what I was doing. Actually, I do know what I was doing. I was cooking. I was making my food. You know, I'm always hungry, but that doesn't mean we cannot go over them and recap them. Um, so let's switch on over to the charts here, guys. I, I don't want to, the intro was the card trick, which I, I was pretty happy with, you know, the way I did that. So anyhow, yeah, let's, uh, let's switch. All right, boys and girls, the fact of the matter is I am, I am, uh, I'm not the smartest and I somehow managed to turn my microphone off after that card trick. So I have to completely refilm the entire charting section of this video. Oh my God, my hair is getting a little bit lengthy. You know, it's getting a little, I think I need to, I think I need to get a cut. Uh, and it's getting harder to tame the flow. You know what I mean? Um, but I, it, 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 it's kind of going to work in the fact that, you know, that, that, that I did the magic trick, right? I, I probably blew your mind. And now I get to actually come back in with a fresh head, uh, for a clear mind here. So, I, I, because I had actually found my top, one of my top watches for tomorrow, completely randomly while filming Small Cap Recap. So now I can go in with a plan to be like, oh no, I actually knew exactly what I was going to say here. Uh, because now I do. That said, if you guys like that magic trick, by the way, before we get into the charts, drop a thumbs up. Be like, Bryce, that was a pretty cool magic trick. Or maybe you've seen that magic trick before. I learned that one on YouTube, like, not even going to lie to you, uh, probably about 13, 14 years ago. Because that video came out 15 years ago uh, that, that showed that trick. And I was like, that is the coolest thing. I was the nerdiest kid, right? I got my Rubik's Cube. I can still solve these bad boys in under like 30 seconds. You know, this one sucks. Um, but you get the point though. Wow, sorry. Let's get into the charts. Okay, let's, let's just get in. Desktop! All right. Oh, ah, you're not supposed to see my top watch. Okay, so now you know what my top watch is. Um, here we have NVTA. This thing was a nasty, gnarly short squeeze all day. And I was earlier talking about there are basically a couple entries here, right? One of them being this dip and rip area. Um, that is one area potentially could have gotten in that. The problem is there was really no volume. Like this was, this was not a, a trade I would have wanted to take um, because there was hardly a gap there. Excuse me, pardon me. And then we had this massive rip and this was the lowest it dipped to. I know, I know what you're thinking. Well, Bryce, it didn't dip that much. It was staying up the entire time, you know, yada, yada, yada. Well, yeah, yeah, you know, in a sense, but it, it's also up like 70% and not, it was never going parabolic. It kept wicking and then 
Yeah, sure, here. That was really nice. Don't get me wrong, but everyone here, I like. A, I would have wanted more consolidation, probably in like the slightly lower threes, in my opinion. Um, but this was really your last chance to get in, you know. If you could have gotten in here, you could very clearly see here, right? These wicks, like they were soaking here. They were soaking that. They were faking that, and then they broke it out. They let it pick the direction, and then it was off to the races. You also did have this area of consolidation to get on in as well. I just don't like how it really didn't dip all that much, if I'm being honest. Now, um, we also had BCAB. Now, this is, if you guys watch me on the Stocks to Trade Instagram, you will know that my, I, I, I literally said it today, I was like, one of my favorite patterns is the ABCD pattern. Right? A, B, C, C consolidation. And then, whoa, 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 whoa. D, breakout, right? Like, it's, this is the epitome of an ABCD chart. You get your morning spike, you get your dip, which is now your risk level, and now you get your consolidation, which can actually be another risk level. Um, and you've got a pretty clear range here, right? I mean, even for the most part, you could argue that most of the consolidations between this, you know, 20 cent range all afternoon, you get the breakout and you kind of have two options, two ways to have played this one, right? You could have gotten in on this break here, you know, 512, but realistically, I probably would have been looking for this trend, uh, this trend break right here, getting in right around like 520s, but you can also just, you know, you had this dip opportunity as well. If you missed it and you just had this dip here in the 530s, you have a Basically a $5 risk, 30 cent risk, you get $2 of upside reward. Now, of course, there's no way of knowing what your upside reward is. And that's why I would have wanted a lower, you know, 520 entry, you're risking that $5 area. And in the very worst case, I would have wanted to see a test of high of day, like 610, $6. So let's say I get in at 520, 80 cents, I'm risking 20 cents, it's still four to one. In this case, it broke out, you know, I probably would have already sold, but um, if you were a savage goon and were able to hold, you know, then yeah, you got, you got some great opportunity there. I also had ALLG. Uh, this is going to be one of my top watches for tomorrow, given the fact that I had a pretty uh, nice spike up here. Very much so sideways action. I would like to see maybe a slight gap up to six, a dip back down like 560 and then rip. That's what I want to see on this tomorrow. Uh, but I don't know. Maybe it doesn't happen. We had RDBX, which just got crushed today. Uh, you know, basically down from closed yesterday at 350s, hit down to 164. That's pretty. That's pretty bad. That got cremated down 51 percent today. Now, uh, stockholders have approved for a merger deal with Chicken Soup for the Soul. Oh. And you know what's wild is that by 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 the time by the time I had filmed this. It had had 3.14 million shares traded on the day, which now it's 3.15, but it was 3.14. So when I was filming it, you, know, you had the pie, you know, 3.14159265, maybe? I think that's as far as I can go. I don't even know if that's right. But it's like that's, that's the digits of pie, and pie is a, you know, a, a comfort food, a food for the soul, chicken soup for the soul, you know? Chicken soup for the soul pie discomfort food. You get you get where I'm going. It's a sign. It's a sign. Like tangent and cotangent and cosine pie. Whoa. <laughs> slow motion. Can we slow mo this, guys? Maybe like make a black and white effect too. <laughs> Now let's go back to the chart and like make this slow motion. Hold on, wait. Oh, it doesn't even matter. Simon 3.14 anymore, I forgot. Um, now, <laughs> okay. Now that I've officially wasted 30 seconds of your time, um, or maybe even longer, I don't know. So it was cool about chicken noodle soup or chicken soup for the soul. So I guess there's a red box merger thing, something or other. Um, so, I mean, this very low float, 
very a lot of range, a lot of range, right? A lot, a lot, a lot of range. Uh, you know, basically gapping up from 11, hitting a high of 19 pre market on like no volume. Really didn't trade a lot of volume throughout the day. And this right here is my favorite thing that happened to it. This dump in, this walk off into close. I love to see that. That is like, you know what? You know what that did? Hold on. Hold on. This is hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe I'm, maybe I'm. I, th I thought this was the one. Okay, this wasn't the one. Which one was it? I, I, I could have sworn. Oh yeah, HLBZ. You have this walk off right into the close on a strong day. Now, obviously, more volume. HLBZ here, but you have like this walk off. Now, this was more into power hour. And then you get the rip, right? And then you get that trapping action right there, which I love. I love. So I hope, I'm hoping that this can act in a similar regard, lower volume, so ideally a bit more manipulated. Um, but I, I like this a lot for tomorrow, like quite a lot. I like it a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, now let's get rid of the ILAG. Go back to HLBZ because this was a, a trade I took today, and unfortunately I lost on it. So I had to go eat. I was very hungry. And I'm trying to work on, like, if my body's telling me I'm hungry, I you best believe I'm going to eat. So I bought here at, like, 172 or something right in there. Uh, and then cut at low of daybreak right here through 150. It was, it, it is what it is. Um, we already went over that, we went over that, we went over that, we went over that. Went over that. VRAX, unfortunately, um, this is a daily chart. It's just not doing what I wanted it to do. Like, you know, I, I wish it would. I wish it could, but I just don't think it's going to. Um, at this point, it's just fading off too hard. Uh, yeah, that this this dump here and now this subsequent dump, it's like, well, can't say I didn't try. It had great, great structure, but it really needed to break through on this day. Um, so, like, it needed to have that, basically, this dump under, right? Well, this dump uh, right here, you had this breakdown, this walk, then it needed to rip up there, almost act as a trap as well, and it just didn't. So, you know, it is what it is. I can't, I can't, 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 do, uh, not, yeah. All right, well, on that note, I think I need a nap, um, of some sort, or just lay down. I need to lay down. I need to go work out in actually an hour. I'm super bloated today. I, uh, I ate a lot of sodium. Something like that. I'm just in a good mood though. I'm in a good mood. I'm happy. I'm like energetic, but not really. I just, I feel super bloated right now. So I need to go drink a lot more water. Uh, and uh, yeah. Anyways, guys, make sure you smash the like button. Let me know down in the comments below if you like chicken soup for the soul entertainment. And uh, uh, if you like any of my other stocks that I talked about, ALLG. Probably not BCAB, probably not MBTA for me tomorrow. Maybe MBTA dip and rip, but we'll see. Anyhow, guys, thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, post, notify, and, you know, yeah. Woo! Happy Wednesday. I'll see you guys back here Friday. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thank you so much for being a part of the Stocks to Trade family. We just hit 100,000 subscribers, but our goal by the end of this year is to get 150,000 new family members a part of our channel. So if you haven't already, be sure to hit that like button, comment down below, hit the subscribe button, and maybe even turn on your post notifications. We cannot do this without your guys' support. So thank you so much. And if you wanna see more of what we're doing, again, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button and comment down below. We'll see you in the next video.